Well, thanks for those opening races, Martin, here at the Aintree Grand National Festival, and it's our first look at the Grand National Fences with the Crabby's Fox Hunters Chase. Small field here to go over two miles, five and a half furlongs. So Olive Oil for Matt Cooper's our top weight. Hardstone for Stu Gray, Pedrick Hogan's at Jorzon's Frontiers. Punchful Racing, Slat and Blaze Tennis, Alex Cherry's Impanima de Moore, and Matt Cooper's Forceful Perform. So just six of them to face the Grand National Fences. The flag's dropped and they're racing. Straight into the first, which they all clear as that down play tennis was a little bit sticky over it. And it's a fairly steady pace being set here by Forceful Perform. So Forceful Perform leads us from Impanima de Moore and Olive Oil. They get to the second, they all clear that much better. Then to the first, the third, which is uh, the first of the big ditches. And it's going to be Forceful Perform that's going to take us into it with Hardstone moving into second now. And then Impanima de Moore is inside. Jean-Sans Frontiers up against the rail as he gets to the big ditch. They all clear it. Nice jump there by Hardstone in second. As they come down to the next, which is going to be a plain one. It's Hardstone Forceful before. No, it's the water. I'm surprised there. A bit confused. In fact, well, that wasn't then the big ditch at three, was it? Anyway, they take the turn here. And it's Forceful perform from Hardstone. Jean-Sans Frontiers in Panima de Moore. Latin plays tennis and Olive Oil just bringing up the rear and their back marker. So as they approach the next, which will be the first on the Grand National. As they weren't racing down to it too quickly, but it's forceful perform from Hardstone, Chansons, Frontiers, and Impanima de Moor. And then Latin plays tennis a little bit blocked in, though, at a run at the moment. Well covered up as they get to the fifth. They all clear that well. Well, here they're all still standing on their feet. And it's forceful perform from Johnson's Frontiers in Panima de Moore and Hardstone. They take the seventh. Oh, and we've lost one. Olive Oil's gone at the back. And Matt Cooper loses one, so just the five left now. All in with a chance of money. But forceful perform from Matt Cooper takes them over the eighth. They all clear that well. Frontiers. Slow jump there by Hardstone. Shuffles back into fourth. Panima de Moore in third. Lost sight of Zlatan plays tennis at the moment. And there's beaches and they're all over that well. That was the first big challenge. They've come down to Foynaven now. And it's a forceful perform that still leads with a three length advantage of Jean Sons Frontiers as they go over that the 11th. The canal turn and it's still for forceful performance leading by about five now to Jean Sans Frontiers in Panima de Moore and Hardstone's Latin place tennis has got back a little bit closer now as they get to the canal turn. It's the twelfth and they're all clear it and it's still for forceful perform by four to Jean Sans Frontiers in Panima de Moore and Hardstone have been together throughout. And it's Latin place tennis just on the outside as they go over. Valentine's, and it's still this forceful perform for Matt Cooper, still with a four length advantage, Hardstone coming out of the pack now just to close them down as they go over the 14th, they'll have the chair to take next, and it's forceful perform from Hardstone in Panima de Moor. Jean-Sans Frontiers, Latin plays tennis, all much closer now as they go over the field, and we've lost one, and it's in Panima de Moor that's gone for Alex Cherry, so we're down to four now. It's still this forceful perform, led throughout, got just a couple of lengths advantage now from the three at the back, good jumps there, jean Frontiers Frontier is a bit of a mistake and shuffles back into fourth, so with just under six furlongs to run, it's forceful perform from Hardstone's Zlatan plays tennis and jean Sans Frontier, so forceful perform, going to get headed now by Zlatan plays tennis, the Clutterbuck Stables takes it up and it's Zlatan plays tennis from forceful perform, it looks like he's got plenty in hand here, Hardstone starts to make a challenge, jean Sans Frontier is still trying to run on from the back, so with just half a mile left to travel, it's forceful perform and Zlatan plays tennis, 
Hardstone, here comes Jossons Frontiers, trying to close the gap now, Hardstone's not really picking up here in these heavy conditions, but as we come down to the penultimate, it's forceful performs, Latam plays to Jossons Frontiers, they're over together, they land together, Hardstone's probably out of it, so it's between these three with the final two and a half furlongs, and Jossons Frontiers takes it up from forceful performance, Latam plays to starts to go backward, we've only got one to take, Jossons Frontiers just got to go over it, and he has, the rest were a little bit slow, and Jossons Frontiers for Pedro Hogan's going to take the Krabby's Fox Hunters chase. Race 5 on day 1. Week 11. Krabby's goes to Pedro Hogan. Running on really well into second is Hardstone. We've still got half a furlong to go here. Jean Sans Frontiers. Jockey's just dropped a little bit, but here comes Hardstone. Jean Sans Frontiers. Hardstone on the outside. Jean Sans Frontiers. But Hardstone's going to come over the top. Hardstone on the line from Jean Sans Frontiers. I think Pedro Hogan's jockey there thought he had plenty left. Hardstone just flew at the end there. So Stu Gray picks up the grab. He's Fox Hunters Jace. Well done to the commentator. And lucky there, Jean Sans Frontiers for Patrick Hogan. I thought we had that in the bag. So that hand plays tennis for Ponchable Racing was third. Forceful perform for Matt Cooper was fourth. And that was the four that finished. And we'll move on to race six.